because I lived in that hall for two years before I started living alone. I think that I feel like everybody must do that before they decide, even if it's one year. I think you should live in a community kind of setting before you live alone, just so you know how everything is. If you don't like it, that's fine, but at least you know that you tried it. So I was in Heathfield my first year and I had flatmates, five other flatmates, so that was good because I was able to meet other people in Heathfield and in my flat. So that was like a good kind of start. It was still a bit hard because like adjusting to living with people you've never met before, strangers. So that was hard, tough at first. But then we had some tutorials where I met people. Um, I met like my closest friends now at the university and that was really good because it allowed me to like meet other people and through them I met others. One of my flatmates is from South Korea. Another one is Scottish. One is English. One is American and I think one is Romanian. My room was actually quite nice and like all the NB uni rooms are en suite, which I really <laughs> was happy about because I wanted my own bathroom. I stayed um, at Heathfield flat, um, which is directly on, like, on the university campus. Um, so it was a really convenient place to stay, literally two minutes walk from wherever I needed to be for if I needed to go to the shop. Um, literally five minutes walk down the road, I'm at Lidl or Tesco. If I need to go to classes or the library, it's another like two, three minutes walk from you know the flat. So it was a really convenient place to be. Lots of students around, so you're never really alone. 